this game really sticks to script, but when the Cheka Trade Trophy semi-final draw was made it's the outcome the powers that be at EFL HQ in Preston were hoping for. The two clubs with arguably the two most substantial fan bases in the lower tiers of the English game going toe-to-toe -to -toe at the home of football on March 31st, Sunderland's relatively routine victory at Bristol Rovers made that a reality on Tuesday night as 1,900 Black Cats fans travelled to the memorial ground to witness their side making it to Wembley. The reaction to the result on Weir side has almost been as delirious as the delight from Football League bosses. Of course, the much maligned competition's showpiece fixture will now be the kind of occasion to match the other finals Wembley will host as the season reaches its climax. While plenty of Paul B fans are wrangling with a way to justify their change of pack after vocally voicing their Cheka Trade Trophy disapproval through the B-team boycott, there's no such issues in the Northeast. Sunderland have got on board with the prospect of a march to the arch in a big way they'll be eating their cheesy chips on Wembley Way, chirped local boy George Honeyman, as he anticipated a Mackham invasion of North London. The excitement in the region has been palpable since Jack Ross' team confirmed their final place. Yet, with the club's ticket allocation for the final confirmed, it's Paul B who have been given marginally the larger number of seats 39,659 to Sunderland's 38,979, whatever the complexities of supporters' moral compass on the competition, not taking up the full allocation and even giving over tickets to the opposition would be viewed uncomfortably in many royal blue quarters. Pompey, along with Cardiff, hold the current record for a football match at the New Wembley in 2008. The record for the Cheka Trade Trophy in its various guises is the 80,841 who saw Wolves beat Burnley in 1988, with the path now blocked when it comes to using the competition to filter B-teams into the Football League. Is there anything wrong with Palm B fans sharing their rivals' joy in savoring a record-breaking final occasion?